LB, did you want to answer before we go to Chris here? Um, I, I, sure. Yes. Uh, I think that, um, that, uh, there is a time when, you know, um, losing on television is better for your stock than, uh, winning off television. And, uh, because that losing on television feeds the other thing. And then the other thing gets big enough that you're on television enough that losing on television becomes the bad thing. And you have to start winning on television to raise your stock. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a process. Okay. Uh, Chris, what do you think about all this? Um, well, oddly enough, I have never lost on national television. I have one national television appearance to my name, and the record books will show that the decade and Chris LaRusso uh, were victorious in Nashville, Tennessee. So, oh, nice. <laughs> uh, that being said, I was promptly dropped on my head by B.J. Whitmer immediately afterwards. Okay. Um, <laughs> the, w w as you're talking about this, I'm thinking about something that um, uh, – uh, independent wrestler and he's also he's on ring of honor he's a trainer and, and coach and mentor to a lot of uh wrestlers uh brutal bob evans one mm -hmm. time told me he was telling me about maximize your minutes mm -hmm. and that any opportunity to be on national television and to be in front of that many eyes is a golden opportunity what you do with that time is 100 percent up to you um, you mentioned Colin Delaney and Colin maximized his minutes. He was told to go, I believe it was the great Kali. Was that who he, his <laughs> initial? <laughs> that it? No, I'm, I'm, it's a hundred percent serious. I think that was I don't the think first. That was his first one, but it, w it was one of well, the, it was one of, um, I'm not sure, but whatever his first appearance was, he performed so well in that very, very limited role mm -hmm. that, it ended up getting him a full time job, and, and really, you know, was was a, a you know keystone to his career. Um, so when those opportunities come around, oh, go ahead. He, he was actually first beaten by Shelton Benjamin. Uh, Big Daddy V. Kali came on came up a little bit later. Actually, okay, okay. So Mark Henry and Kali Kane, like he he had mm -hmm. he ran the whole line of them. So. Yeah. Regardless, I mean, there there's these situations where how many people um, have been rosebuds or have been, uh, you know, enhancement guys or whatever, and are never seen or heard from ever again. Mm -hmm. But then you do have a situation like like a Colin Delaney who mm -hmm. is able to take that very small role and maximize his minutes. Mm -hmm. And um, I found, I mean, personally, it's a very minor way to 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 measure uh, awareness, but. After I was on uh, TV, my Twitter followers went up. My Facebook followers went up. Um, I did see a noticeable increase in, in some interest. I saw a noticeable increase in some pay mm -hmm. uh, at a couple places. So um, the exposure, I think, it, it, it is always very good. Um, as far as having those those awesome wins or awesome – I, I won't say wins because I'm not as big on wins and losses, especially in – indie wrestling meaning as much but those big moments those big matches on the indies um and they're great and you know you can have amazing matches and really entertain the crowd but sort of the if a tree falls in the woods does it make a sound if no one's there to hear it mm -hmm. if you have these amazing matches or these amazing victories on the independence um but it's in front of a hundred people you know in, in west virginia you know, how useful is that? Well, you can get a tape of it or, or you know, and, and a lot of places do have much greater exposure. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know IWC has digital download. PWX is on, uh, you know, a local television. AIW is really good about if something really big happens. It's you hear about it. It's on yeah. the Internet. You know, some of those are very social media conf you know, mm -hmm. conscious, you know, uh, uh, you know, I know great stuff with IWC. We picked up a couple of things from the weekend mm -hmm. and I was amazed to see so someone already had like a thousand downloads or yeah. a thousand views. I think the, uh, the cool. there was a video from, I, from night of, uh, was it night of legends, night of champions, night of superstars, night of this superstars. Past weekend? yeah. Uh, that was on, uh, SB nation. Um, uh, oh, know, the or, kid, the yeah, white the guy, kid. yeah, yeah, and yeah. that had like five thousand views when I saw it. That's that's crazy, and that yeah. was a fan video. Yeah, and those so. are and those are always great things. But as great as the exposure of an AIW or an IWC or even a mm -hmm. Beyond or something, the number of 
eyes who see that versus the number of eyes that are watching even Ring of Honor television, let alone Monday Night Raw. I think that the, the it's far more beneficial to be in as front of as many eyes as humanly possible because, again, you can maximize your minutes. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can, you can look you look pretty good uh, taking an ass whooping. And who knows how things can build from there. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's yeah, I mean, the Hardy Boys spent a whole couple of years mm -hmm. on WWE as jobbers, getting mm -hmm. their asses handed to them until mm -hmm. they're actually just given a shot just because they kept going to every show. But they were there, they were on TV, and they were in the back, and people would get to know them after a while, and mm -hmm. that generates opportunities. Absolutely. You know, one of the big things I push is you make opportunities. Absolutely. And any chance like that, like I know, you know, guys in your line, like mm -hmm. I have, you, you went to the ROH camps. I know you were on like the, uh, one of those early, like fresh prospects show they had out. And well, like, we no, um, I had done like the, that. I had done a couple, uh, a couple of dark matches. I had done the mm -hmm. dark and wheeling. I'd done the dark in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, yeah. and, uh, a future of honors, what you're talking about. Future no, honors, no, yeah. I, um, I didn't get, cause we haven't gotten to future three yet. We've only had, two future honor shows mm -hmm. but uh i'll use actually this makes me think of something i'll be quick about this because i know i'm kind of rambling um one of the things they taught us at the the ring of honor camps is um to make how to maximize one of the things to maximize your minutes how to to make everything look good imagine that you get called to be an extra at raw and they tell you okay you're a security guard you got to run in and you got to punch Brock Lesnar once. You get one punch. You can crack Brock Lesnar in the face once. He's then going to pick you up and F5 you into the third row. Yeah. But that's what your job is. How good is that punch going to be? That's going to be the greatest punch you have ever thrown in your entire life. You and get to punch a UFC champion. Yeah, <laughs> once. But that's, the, that's your only spot. That's all we're letting you do. That's yeah. the only thing that we're going to let you do on the show. Yeah, you would you would make sure that that was the best punch that you ever threw, and you know I try and tell that to 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 younger guys and to to people um, at the PWX training school, do everything mm -hmm. like it's the only thing you're going to get to do on the show. If you have to go out and in three minutes get your ass handed to you, by God, that is the best ass whooping that this crowd will have ever seen, mm -hmm. and um and to make everything a, as important and as significant as humanly possible, and I think. You know, to circle back to Colin, I think that's what he did. He made that very small thing, and he did it so, 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 so well that you know, you know, was a rocket up his, uh, you know, rocket up his ass, and and mm -hmm. his career took off. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, he's doing great things with IWC, and they actually rekindled that little bit between Dreamer and, just, yeah. and Colin back mm -hmm. in January, and 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 uh, you know, and they're doing great, mm -hmm. great stuff. Um, and I, I think it's a matter of time before he ends up somewhere else again, mm -hmm. you know, somewhere else with three letters, you know, mm -hmm. uh, on TV. So, uh, and I look forward to that, you know, for any of these guys, you know. So, all right. Uh, did everybody go around here? If you have any thoughts on this, hit us up on Twitter, hashtag WMS big question. Uh, this week, uh, if you respond to this one, we're actually going to give you a copy of that show. We were talking about night of the superstars for digital download. Uh, again, a tweet us, follow at mayhem show on.